In today's review, we score Bardstown's Chateau de Labad. Bardstown Chateau de Labad is a blend of 12 year and 10 year. The amount of each is not specified. It is finished in Chateau de Labad Armagnac casks. The proof is 107, price $170, and the availability is limited. Let's get into the review. All right, guys, let's get a pour of the Chateau de Labade and get into it. You guys have probably noticed we changed our format a little bit here on the Whiskey Tornado. I'm not going to go into all of the categories used for my scoring system. I will post those at the end, though. We are just going to nose, taste this, and then I will give you my final breakdown. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Now, the nose is pretty nice on this first smell. As you can tell, I've already taken a couple glasses. Um, I wanted to let it open up a little bit. But the first thing I get on the nose is real jammy. Lots of red fruits there. Peaches, almost like an apricot, honeyed apricot. Raisins. Mm. So jammy, obviously, from that Armagnac cask. But I'm not... Um, you know, if I was smelling this blind, I wouldn't know that there was Tennessee whiskey in here. Again, there's 10-year Tennessee whiskey. Now on the palate, maybe another story, but on the nose, just smells very fruity, um, very jammy, honeyed. There's a little bit of raisins on there. And then even on the nose for me, I get a touch of like clove, that clove gum that's there on the, on the back end of it. It's nice. Um, I'm going to give the nose a 0.6. All right, let's get into the palate. Cheers, everybody. 107 proof. Very jammy on the palate. Peaches. I need dates. I know the big question is, is this year's uh, Chateau de Labade as good as last year's? Last year's was finished um, MGP. I think... 12 year, but I could be wrong on that. Um, I can't remember. Um, first impressions right off the bat is no, this is not as good as last year's. Um, the other big question always with these Bardstown blends is can you taste the Tennessee whiskey that's blended in here? And I would say slightly for me, but it's not in the minerality way. It's in the fruitiness way that I get on uh, George Dickel Tennessee whiskey. Uh, but I do not get any of that minerality. I think the Armagnac casts have covered that up. Um, there's something missing in this. This is hard for me. I'm trying to taste this and I'm, I'm thinking out loud and um, it's good, but something's missing and I don't know what that is. Let me take another sip here. It's so fruity and desserty. Uh, the first batch of Chateau de Labade was so um, folly and rich. And this just to me just isn't as rich at 107 proof. Um, it's a little drying on the back end, but it's more desserty to me. Um, it's not bad. It's still very good, very enjoyable on the palate. And had I not had last year's Chateau de Labade, um, I would probably rate this a little higher. Um, for me, the nose is a 0.6. I don't think the nose is as good as the palate. The palate is a little bit better. I think it's a good palate. I don't think it's exceptional. I would rate it a 0.7. Um, just know when you get this, you are not getting the brown sugars, uh, oak tannins, um, you know, uh, caramels, vanillas. This is much more fruity and jammy. So my score is going real quick for each category without breaking it down too much. Appearance, 0.7. It's a beautiful bottle. Availability is a 0.4. Um, this is one I don't think is going to fly off the shelves, to be honest, once some people get a hold of it and start reviewing it. Um, I think you will be able to find this. Right now, we're rating that at a 0.4. Um, like I said, the nose, 0.6. Palette, a 0.7. Finish is a 0.6. It is a little bit thin, um, and, the, and the finish goes away pretty quick. The body is a 0.5 to me. 
and the value is a 0.1. I think the biggest knock on this bottle is at $170. It is just not worth it, um, in my humble opinion. Um, and that brings the overall score to a 3.05, making it barely bar worthy in my opinion, and that's largely due to the cost. If this were an $80 bottle, I would be all over it. I would be all in, but 170, which is what I got it for, I think, I can't remember, but it's way too much. Even at 140, which is what Bardstown bottles used to be at, still way too much, um, in my opinion, for this expression. Um, it's good at $80, um, but I would try it before you buy it at that price point. Cheers to all of you. Thank you for the continued support. We love you guys very much. It's good. It's not $170. Yet.